Well, we started in a vacation in south of France on our honeymoon. For, and we're school teachers, so we had the summer off. We spent almost a month. And I discovered a love for wine, because I didn't drink wine before that. And it was different than California Australian wine. So when we, we returned, I found an interest that I wanted to go out and see what, how wine was being made and things like this. And we would take our Sunday drives. The honeymoon was continuing. And so uh, Sunday afternoons we'd drive around and through the country and periodically say, oh, wouldn't that be beautiful over there in, in grapes? And then after a while it was like, oh, that would be beautiful in grapes. So we began to think about it a little more seriously and we found only a few things available. Most of it was 500 acres for very little money, which ultimately wound up being millions, or three, four, five, eight acres that would be good for a horse, or the right size 20, 30 acres, but it was at the intersection of two major highways. $30,000 an acre, if you were a company, yes. We eventually found this place here, and then we had to kind of stop and rethink it and see what we were going to do. Because that was the reality, and up until that point, we were having fun just thinking about it. And we found this farm. It had a house that was built in 1897. The front door was sitting open. No one had lived here since 1963. It was, it was pretty much a mess, we, and we bought this property. Our friends thought we were crazy. We were both art teachers. There were, at that time, this was 1996, there were 10 wineries in the whole state and only one winery, West Bend, in this area. So to say you're gonna start a vineyard was a very unusual thing to do. Uh, we bought this land and worked. We planted in 97, we planted in 98. We had our first harvest in 99. My students and their families came out to help us. We had four tons of Chardonnay from one acre, and if you had <laughs> looked at the back room filled with containers of Chardonnay, we were, what have we done? We opened our doors July 1st of 2000. We had three whites and a rosé, and I said to Michael, we can't open the winery without a red. So he was, we had a few barrels of Chamberson, and he's in the back trying to bottle. I'm labeling and bottling as the customer who wanted the, that red was standing there patiently waiting. We put them to work to help <laughs> us, really. That sort of was the start of all of that. And uh, July 1st of 2000 was our opening date, so it's been quite an adventure.